Welcome back to Take the Lead Podcast. It is your host, Tara Chantel. I hope you've been maintaining, keeping your spirits high, and staying hydrated out here because it is real. This has been a chaotic week. But before we jump into it, I got a question for you. Are you ready to lead by example? Be the example. The example begins with you. Episode number 47, Black Power. Yes, Black Power. I need the fist up in the air and I need you to say it with me. I'm black and I'm proud. It's a great week to be black. It's a great decade to be black. It's a great year. It's a great day. It's a great lifetime. I want to thank all my ancestors for paving the way for us to be in this moment today, for us to have this connection today. I want to thank my ancestors because of their resilience, of their perseverance, of their hard work, their tears, their fight, the energy they had throughout this whole journey, the mindset of never giving up for us to live our dream, for us to shift this playing field this generation will change the narrative this generation will make the impact this generation will break the chains off this generation will change the mindset of others this generation is gonna make it happen we are about to do something revolutionary being black is a blessing being black is lit Being black is the latest trend. You know, everybody want to be black until it's time to protest. Everybody want to be black until being black, you get shot at. Everybody want the rhythm, but not the blues. And as black people, we got to understand that we not for everybody and everybody not for us. So it's okay to have things exclusive for your brothers and for your sisters. Be proud in that. It's only exclusive. Sometimes you just can't sit here. This ain't for you. You ain't invited to this cookout right here. Sometimes we got to just have our own backs out here. It's okay to be exclusive to your people. It's okay to love your people. And it's okay to protect your people. On Take the Lead podcast, let's talk real. Let's talk black. Talk black to me. In one way, we are going to make a revolutionary act is if we continue to uplift each other. We have to continue to protect each other. We have to continue to speak out with the injustice of America and how they treat us. We can't criticize our brothers. We can't criticize our sisters. We can't call them out their name. We can't downplay their achievements or we can't belittle them anymore. I'm not tolerating it and I'm not having it. Uplift your brother. Uplift your sister. We have to have each other's back before anything. We must take each other's word for it without any say so. Take their word for it. Whatever they say goes. Do not but this but that is no rebuttal we have to be in alignment we have to get in position it's time to get information we got to be in sync and we got to be on rhythm and we got to be on beat and as black people we can do that easy easy but can we stay consistent is the question if we stay consistent with one another that will cause a revolutionary change i'm sick and tired of other black people complaining about black people if you got a problem with how they view things or how they do things help your sister help your brother because obviously they are not in their right mind so help them get in their right mind How about that? Don't complain about it. Do something about it. Don't sit here and point fingers. Take responsibility and lead by example. We cannot be against each other. We have to be for each other and support each other. 
And this goes with the next thing, how we will continue to make a revolutionary act is by buying black. I want black people to win. I want to support my people. So if I know if my people got a business, got a brand, got a service for me, I'm not going to ask for discounts. I'm going to pay full price plus tip. Because I want this to go in your pockets as a black man, as a black woman, so you can feed your black children. And I'm just going to continue to pass the wealth down because we breaking generational curses this way for 2020 and this generation. We are coming out business owners. We are coming out entrepreneurs. We are coming out starting something. We are breaking generational curses. But how we can do this is by having our own, having ownership. I understand that we have been taught by society that society has brainwashed us to believe we have to work in order to survive, in order to provide for our family. We have to work and make somebody else rich while we're miserable, while we're depressed, while we're getting disrespected at the job. And we're settling to be somewhere we don't want to be. And we're putting up with it. We're begging to be at somebody else's table. We're begging to be in somebody else's home. When we have all the true answers within ourselves. As black people, we are so creative. We are artists. We are entertainers. We are lovers. We are architectures. We are leaders. And we cannot feed into the negativity. We can't feed into the noise. And we can't have our mind in lack. Think abundance. We have to be creative. We have so many ideas. It's time to solve the problem. Don't be the problem. Solve the problem. Be problem solvers. So whatever problem you have throughout your day, figure out a way you can fix this problem. So you can make your life easier. Then it will be a ripple effect. Solve a problem that you run into every single day. So then once you solve that problem, now you can make a profit off of that problem. And then you can help other people, other black people with that problem they as well. It. Because you're not the only one with these problems. You're not the only one with these issues. We are in this together. And when we realize that we are in this together, we can then begin to help each other, carry each other out of this. But it starts with supporting each other. It starts with uplifting each other, encouraging each other and motivating each other. We have to stand by each other. We got to hold each other tight and hold each other down. We all we got. We are all we got at the end of the day. And once we realize this truth, we will then stop living in self-hatred. Do you understand the opposition wanted you to hate yourself? Do you understand the, the opposition wants you to complain about your own people? Wants you to hate your own? They want you to hate you. It's time to love on you. It's time to love your hair. It's time to love your skin. It's time to love your nose. It's time to love your hips. It's time to love them lips. It's time to love you because once you love you from the core, from your melon skin, from the core, you will then begin to love your brothers and sisters. But you got to you got to start with you and you can't try to change anybody. You got to get to the level that they are at and accept them for them and then build them up build them up don't break them down don't break your peers down don't break your sister don't break your brother down we have to build each other up we have been broken for years we have been broken in pieces for years it's time to fix the problem and it's time to love on each other and the only way we can begin on loving each other is by loving ourselves with the black power movement the next thing we can do is get organized we have to get organized and we have to come up with a game plan to win this game and that is all of us talking to our peers bringing self-awareness awareness to situations 
that calls for change. Starting organizations, starting movements. You have to start something. You have to start whatever it is, launch it, do it for the people, do it for the culture. But once we get organized, we can then start moving in position and start executing on the ideas, on the movements, on the causes of change once we act on our position here. And we all have roles in this. And you gotta learn how to play your role. Everyone is not meant to be in the front line. Everybody is not meant to speak. Everybody is not meant to lead. So you gotta know your position and play accordingly. Play your role, play your role. Because it's necessary and it's needed. You are the glue to this movement. Play your role and you are needed. Show up. Show up every time. Keep your word. We have to put our resources together. If one person got money, the next person has the location. The next person has the equipment. The next person has the food. We got to come together like that. Make it shake. Come on. It takes a village. You bring that. I bring this. Come on. It's a potluck up in here. It got to be a potluck. Once we continue to uplift each other, we get organized, we support each other, we start making chess moves out here. This is checkers, not chess. This is a marathon, not a sprint. This is a process. It's going to take time. Stay patient, stay down, but you got to stay thorough. The key to this is being thorough, okay? You can't fold out here. You got to pick a side. You got to pick a side. Pick accordingly. Play it smart and play your cards right. Because at the end of the day, they don't care about us. And how you going to stay solid and how you going to stay thorough in these streets is by knowing your power. Knowing your power comes with knowledge. So if you are knowledgeable of self, you know yourself, you know your roots, you know where you came from. And you know who you came from. You can then unbreak the chains. Get out of the slave mindset. Conscious out here. AKA woke. You gotta get woke. We can't be zombies no more. We can't be the walking dead no more. It's time to wake up and execute. It's time to gain consciousness of the truth of this system. It's not meant for us. It's not for us. So why are we begging? Why are we complaining to be in somebody else's house, to be sitting at somebody else's table when they don't want us there? They don't care about us. You know what we going to do now? We going to set up shop and we going to get it done because like we always do, we can get it done. We make a way out of no way. We are creative at the end of the day. You know, as black people, we are the most funniest people in the world. We are hilarious. We know how to laugh off the pain. We're so giving. We're so generous. But we then turn a cheek on our own because they taught us that. They taught us how to hate each other. So it's time to unlearn and relearn. It's time to operate your mind, to level up, love your own, love your own understand how the system is built and it's built for us to be oppressed it's built for us to be injustice it's built to set us back it's not built for us we have to move accordingly and we have to stick together and we have to love ourselves because once we love ourselves then we will love our brothers and sisters I love you, Black King. I love you, Black Queen. Self-Love Manual is available on Amazon. And that's going to give you all the gems right there on how to love yourself. It's game. It's knowledge. It's wisdom. All wrapped into the manual. Self-Love Manual. Available on Amazon. Black Power. Say it with me. I'm black and I'm proud, baby. It's a great decade to be black. Yer.